Viruses are now more terrifying than ever because they can spread so easily. Whether it's a cough, a touch of the hand, or the bite of a mosquito, certain doom may await. Here are 10 terrifying viruses. The Zika virus. The Zika virus is the latest in terms of terrifying illnesses. The virus is transmitted through mosquitoes and most recently even transmitted through sexual intercourse. The most common symptoms of Zika is red eyes, a rash, and joint pain. Treatment basically means resting and staying hydrated and hoping you survive. There is a major concern over pregnant women contracting Zika as it can cause some pretty severe birth defects. The Ebola virus. While Ebola is technically considered to be rare, it made headlines around the world in 2014 and 2015 as it spread to multiple countries from humanitarian doctors working in Africa. Ebola can be contracted through the transmission of bodily fluids, bites from animals and insects, saliva, and contaminated surfaces, thus making it highly contagious. Symptoms include fever, headache, vomiting, diarrhea, weakness, fatigue, and bleeding. The survival rate for Ebola is low, but with proper hospital care, survival can be possible. Marburg Virus Disease Marburg Virus Disease first broke out in 1967 in Marburg and Frankfurt, Germany, and has a large presence in Africa. It is a dangerous virus that comes from the same family as the Ebola virus. It is a fatal illness that starts off as a severe fever and severe malaise. Then around days 5 to 7, patients start having hemorrhagic manifestations which usually result in the patient bleeding to death from multiple sites. Dengue Fever Dengue fever is caused by the bites of tropical mosquitoes who are carrying the dengue virus. Symptoms include shock, headache, vomiting, muscle and joint pain, and a skin rash, and usually appears 3 to 14 days after infection. If not treated properly, the virus can evolve into dengue hemorrhagic fever, where the patient essentially bleeds out and dies. Crimean Congo Fever The Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever is caused by the Nero virus that comes from ticks and first broke out in Crimea in 1944. There was another outbreak in 1969 in the Congo which resulted in the current name of the virus. The symptoms come up suddenly, with pain all over the body and joints, high fever and vomiting. Severe bruising eventually occurs with severe nosebleeds and eventually uncontrollable bleeding. The illness lasts about two weeks and has a varying survival rate. Bird Flu Also known as avian influenza and H5N1, the bird flu is a feared virus that has the potential to wipe out the human race. The virus primarily affects birds, but can also affect humans if they've been in contact with sick birds. Symptoms include fever and cough, diarrhea, shortness of breath, and abdominal pain. These symptoms eventually lead to complications which contribute to the high mortality rate in humans. Smallpox Smallpox is well known to us thanks to history books. The virus, though, is just as deadly as ever, though naturally occurring smallpox was destroyed in 1980. A rash develops, and once the spots break open, the disease spreads to the mouth and throat. The rash bumps develop pus and break and start to form scabs and pitted scars once healed. So you might want to get that smallpox vaccine your doctor offered after all. Hantavirus The hantavirus is contracted through contact with rodents or their droppings, fresh urine or saliva. The virus starts off with muscle aches, headaches, chills, dizziness, and fever. After about 10 days, symptoms of the hantavirus include fluid filling the lungs and shortness of breath. The mortality rate for this disease is around 38%. Rotavirus. Rotavirus is most common among young children and babies, and incubation period only lasts about two days. Symptoms include watery diarrhea, fever, and vomiting. While there are vaccines being developed, the virus is still spreading, and even adults can be affected, and patients can contract the rotavirus multiple times since there is no full immunity against the virus. Hospitalization and death can occur from dehydration and loss of appetite. A friendly reminder from us to you to wash your hands. We hope you enjoyed this video. Here's a couple of the videos that we think you might be into. And while you're here, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks.